Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So glad to have you here. Today I'm going to be showing you how I created these yarn Christmas trees. After getting through some trial and error, I'm going to show you what I found to be the easiest way to make these. So let's just jump right in. Okay, so here's what you're going to need to make these Christmas trees. These tree cones are going to be the star of the show. These are what we're going to use to mold our trees. I got them from Hobby Lobby. Right now they're having a 60% off sale on Christmas decor. So these are pretty cheap to get. The larger one was about $5 and the smaller one is about $3 with the sale price. And you'll get to use these as many times as you want. So definitely worth it. We also need some plastic wrap, Mod Podge, and some yarn. I got this row from Walmart for about $3 and I was able to make one large and two small trees with some yarn left over. We'll also need a container and a foam brush from Dollar Tree. We're going to start by taking one of the cones. I'm using the smaller one here and wrapping it really well with some plastic wrap. You want to make sure you get the whole thing covered so you don't get the cone wet with the Mod Podge mixture. I started by grabbing the tip of the tree and holding the surround wrap in place and then working my way down. After I'm just going to kind of press everything down to make sure the surround wrap is in place and this is what it should basically look like. Next, we're just going to pour out some Mod Podge and mix a little bit of water into it. I didn't measure this, I just eyed it. You don't need too much water though. You just want to make the Mod Podge a little bit more watery so it'll be easier to press into your yarn, which you'll see later on. I just suggest adding a little bit of water at a time, but this is the consistency that you should be looking for. Now we're going to start wrapping our tree cone with some yarn. I'm going to be starting at the very top and holding the end of the yarn in place while I secure it with some more yarn. When you're wrapping, you want to make sure that you keep hold of the yarn. As you can see, I'm holding the strand of yarn with my right hand as I wrap. If you just let the yarn hang while you're wrapping your cone, then your tree is just going to have a bunch of loose pieces of yarn everywhere and you don't want that. I'm going to be working my way up and down a few times with the yarn just to make sure that the plastic wrap stays in place while I'm working. Once I get a pretty good amount of the cone covered, I'm going to start focusing on getting a lot of the gaps covered. This part is important to make sure that your tree comes out sturdy. The first one I did, I didn't have enough yarn and it was pretty wonky. I'll show you what that looked like a little later on in the video. So this is what ideally your tree will look like. There isn't any large gaps and this will give you a pretty sturdy tree. Now we're going to take our Mod Podge mixture and just give the whole tree a really good coat. You're going to want to put on the Mod Podge pretty generously. As I'm coating this, I'm also pressing in the mixture a bit as I go just to make sure that it penetrates all the levels of yarn. This is what I meant earlier about having a more watery consistency because um, the water is helping the Mod Podge get through the different layers. My first tree, I didn't use water in the Mod Podge and I ended up having a lot of dry pieces of yarn and my tree overall just wasn't sturdy and kind of just looked like it was giving up on life. Once you're done, your tree should be completely saturated. You're also going to want to let this dry completely before removing it from the mold. I let mine dry overnight but you'll know that it's ready when it's stiff and there aren't any more wet spots. Once it's completely dry, you're going to want to remove all the excess saran wrap and then you're going to start working your way around by gently but firmly, if that makes sense, pushing the whole thing up. Just kind of what I'm doing in the video here. Then just go ahead and start removing all the saran wrap inside. This does come off pretty easy, but I would suggest removing it slowly each section at a time just to avoid pulling it too hard and bending your tree. And as you can see, the tree has held its shape and stands on its own. Now it's time for what I think is the best part, decorating. You can do anything you want or just use whatever you have on hand. I wanted to add some glitter to this one, so I'm going to be adding some Mod Podge at the top and then using some chunky glitter that I got from Dollar Tree and regular glitter that I got from Walmart. <laughs>
One of my other trees I'm gonna be wrapping with some fairy lights that I got from Amazon and using these glitter berries from Dollar Tree to look like ornaments. Now let's do some quick troubleshooting. This was the first tree that I did. As you can see, I didn't use nearly as much yarn and there are a lot more gaps. This just made the tree very unstable, but if you do encounter this issue, you can reinforce it with some skewers like I did. I just hot glued those in there and it did help the tree stand up on its own. It doesn't look the best, but it, it's, it's still, there's still hope, I think. And I'm not sure why this happened. Maybe I didn't put enough yarn in this area, but if your tree decides it wants to look like the Oogie Boogie Man from Nightmare Before Christmas, just put in some hot glue and all will be well. But now that all that's said and done, this is what we ended up with. Well, that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed and until next time.